Hello, today I'm going to talk a little bit about a new bit of software I've started using called Divisimate. I'll explain to you a scenario. Let's say we're composing some music for a string section or brass section or a whole symphony orchestra and you have to program in all of your instruments and play uh, parts and harmonies and, and lead lines. Um, most of the virtual instruments that we use these days are very good. Um, they're incredibly high fidelity, but they also tend to be very good for performance. So they're designed as a monophonic architecture with lovely legato slurs and things like that. Programming in a string section when you've only got the option to play one note at a time for a traditional pianist like myself can be quite tedious because I'm not used to thinking in harmonies and I'm used to playing chords on my keyboard. So what I'd tend to do is I'd play the chords in, maybe on a piano, and then I'd translate the notes that I've played as a chord into the individual string lines. The other option is you play your string section using an ensemble patch, and then you painstakingly edit the MIDI of that ensemble patch so that each of your virtual instruments is assigned the correct MIDI channel within a multi-timbral uh, contact instrument, for instance, and then you've got your, your string parts playing independently. The third option is you play again as an ensemble and then you duplicate that ensemble file many times and then painstakingly edit the MIDI notes to remove the highest note, the bottom note and the middle harmonies for instance and then recreate that as a multi-part uh, monophonic ensemble. All of those ways take a lot of time and it kind of takes the joy out of uh, composing and arranging music. So uh, the nice people at uh, Divisimate have come up with this software. Um, it's only been around a few months, um, and it's designed essentially to take a polyphonic input and break it down into an orchestrated parts, and then send each of those individual orchestrated parts out to a different MIDI output, and then your DAW, in my case Cubase, sees each of those MIDI inputs as a different instrument. So I've got my instruments set up in Cubase. You can see down the left-hand side of the screen an array of different coloured tracks. And these are the entire orchestra section from the Spitfire Symphony Orchestra series. We've got the woodwinds in blue, the brass section in red, we've got a piano and a harp, and then down the bottom we've got our string section in green. And each of these tracks is mapped to one of the outputs of Divisimate. So Divisimate is in the front of the screen here, and you can see on the right-hand side a whole list of numbers from 1 down to 32. And each of these is an output from Divisimate, and this is mapped to each of the instruments in Cubase. So you can see here Piccolo 1 and Flute 1 and Flute 2 is all mapped to Piccolo, Flute, Alto, Flute, Oboe, etc. in Cubase. But at the moment, if I play some notes, you'll see the little blue things appearing on the bottom of the screen. There is absolutely nothing coming out of anything, despite the fact that all of these tracks are armed and ready to go in Cubase. So, let's quickly look at Divisimate and work out how it all works. Down the bottom, you've got numbers 1 to 8, and this indicates the polyphony of the input. So, for instance, if I'm playing a triad, I choose 3. If I'm playing a duet, I choose 2. If I've got more fingers to play with, I can choose eight. So I'm going to choose three for the time being. If you want to, you can add a melodic line at the top and you can decide how far down the keyboard this goes and you can assign that melody line to anything, any of the outputs or combination of outputs you want to. But we'll come to that later. And down the bottom, you can do the same. You can assign a low section and assign that to various instruments. So for instance, you could be playing a triad of chords in the right hand and then have a single monophonic uh, solo line down the bottom, a double bass or a cello or something like that. So let's turn that off as well. Once you've selected how many notes you're going to input, you then need to assign these notes to various outputs. So for instance, let's say I just want to play a triad with a piccolo, a flute and an alto flute. And I want the top note to go to the piccolo. So I click the link between number one and track one. I want the second note in my chord not to go to the flute, but to go to the alto flute. So I click on the alto flute line, and that's going to the alto flute, and I want the bottom note of my chord going to the flute. So you can see I'm going to play in a triad and send these notes to the different outputs. But in addition to this, you can uh, mangle your audio or your MIDI information in a little way using these three extra little buttons up here. 
So for instance, I've chosen flute to be the bottom note of my chord, but I want to open this chord up. So I can click on this little button and add a transposer and then push my flute up an octave. So now I can just play a little triad and use my mod wheel to change the dynamics and I'll be able to hear those three instruments playing a nice little harmony. And that's really quite nice. And how does that translate now into Cubase? So I'm going to start recording in Cubase and play the same chord. And what we can see is that Cubase has cleverly recorded each of those instruments as an independent track because Divisimator sent each of the instruments to a different MIDI input. So now the piccolo is on the top, the flute, because it was on the base of the chord, isn't moving at all, and the alto flute is going up and down in harmony with the piccolo. So that's a simple way of doing it. And if I want to replicate that chord and include some bassoons, so let's put some bassoons in there. Let's put the bassoons on the lowest note, some clarinets on the middle note, an English horn on the top note, uh, an oboe as well. And let's put the oboe up an octave just for the sake of argument. Let's put our piccolo up an octave as well. And uh, let's put a contrabassoon down an octave. So we've just suddenly made a quite a big um, woodwind section here just with a few clicks consisting of uh, piccolo, flute, alto, flute, oboe, English horn, a couple of clarinets, a bassoon and a contrabassoon. And I'm just going to play exactly the same MIDI part using my piano. <laughs> And that is fully orchestrated that in Cubase. So now let's record this little uh, woodwind section and see what it looks like in Cubase. So I'm just going to start recording in Cubase and uh, you'll see on the screen. So you can see all of the parts of recording in Cubase, but we're only focusing on the blue parts at the top where I have my wind orchestra. And I'll play exactly the same chords. So now if we focus on these wind parts, you'll see that the root note is played by the flute, the bassoon and the contrabassoon, and then the harmonies are played and divided between all the other instruments. So this is really clever. Um, it's a really clever way of setting up uh, orchestration. So this is all very well and good, um, but you can save these as presets. So you can go to your presets and open up a preset and let's go into the uh, orchestra, let's choose brass, and let's choose a uh, trumpet solo, brass choir number three. Now you see what Divisimate is doing, is it's dividing a four-part harmony between a whole load of different brass sections. And these are presets downloaded from the company. And now we can have a little listen to this. So I'm going to play uh, this time a four-part using the same chord structure. And it's divided up our brass perfectly between all of the notes. And I could record that as well, of course. So you can see that you can simply switch between these orchestrations and just add various textures to your orchestral composition. And the final feather in the cap of this software is the way you can switch in the performance mode between these different variations and have this software driving your composition. So for instance, I click on strings open can go to Woodwind Choir. Or to make things simple, you could just choose a duet. So this is interesting. I've just chosen this flute and clarinet duet. 
and you can see it's just dividing the top note to the flute and the bottom note to clarinet number two. So now if I play this, top note I'm playing goes to the flute and the next note down goes to the clarinet. This is a very quick way of orchestrating some harmonies. We've got three trombones in an open format here. So for doing individual sections this is a really really clever way of orchestrating. And then finally you've got some full orchestral arrangements which you can set up. And you can see here this is quite complicated. You've got some brass uh, down the bottom and then a whole load of string sections up the top uh, including some viola and double bass down the bottom as well. So this is set up so you've got a simple triad in your left hand and then you've got a melody line being performed in your right hand. So I'm going to play a little chord, a simple chord in my left hand and then a melody using my right hand and you can see how that's going to be spread among the orchestra. Anyway, a familiar melody, maybe not quite orchestrated correctly, but you can see how quick and easy that would be to record that and set that up. And then you can do some tweaking afterwards. What's quite nice is when you've got these set up, they're following all the legato transitions that you've got programmed in in your DAW, and it just sounds really natural, and it sounds like it's meant to be, which is uh, sometimes more than you can achieve by programming in painstakingly each of the instruments. So that is what DivisiMate can do. It's a very quick look at some of the functionalities. So just to remind you, you can split up all of your polyphonic inputs or melody lines or bass lines and send them to a whole level of orchestration. You can use quick shortcuts to quickly jump between those orchestrations. And you'll be pleased to know there is an app for your tablet or phone which will allow you to switch between all these setups at a press of a screen. So that's how this works. Um, if you don't want to use it, you can just go to Bypass and now everything you play will be sent to every MIDI input of every device you've got. So you can set up your orchestra to use DiviziMate in your DAW and then if you just want to program each of your instruments separately, you can just choose Bypass and record activate each of the individual instruments. So really interesting way of uh, helping with MIDI composition, sorting out your polyphonic performances.